right. All right. What you got here is the Alpha's Air, technically. TW, but a 2025 version. And what we're looking at right now is a 6.3. 6.3 left, 8.5 right, and an 8.5 left. What I know so far, just from scanning real quick, was it is using the SS Air TW new system of having the, that, my bad people, the, um, that new brake system that they're running on the SS Air. This is, or should drop sometime next year, maybe this year. We might get lucky this year, but it said 25. So I'm gonna go with 25. Someone else said 24, I'm gonna go with 25. It has the SS Mag Force uh, style braking system. And it is a 30, millimeter school I do know that much I'll let you guys read that I'm not gonna read it I'll just I'll read it to myself I won't read it out loud I am wondering if the side plate will match any of the other side plates. And then I'm wondering if they're gonna come out with a Steve CT this way. Because that would be even better. I'm looking forward to that if they do it. Come on, Joe. It is a approximately 14% smaller and 27% lighter. And now the, the values are being compared between the 20 Alphas Air TW and the 25 Alphas BF is what they're calling it. And of course it is a KTF spool. Hyperdrive design hyperdrive digi gear it is salt water ready it does come with a click and drag in it and I think if I'm not mistaken I think it's only got six to one bearing so of course when I get it I'm definitely gonna pump it up to 12 double side support or hyper double support hyper tough clutch they just you know throwing stuff in here it's, that's that's the thumb bar it's called a clutch but Ultimate casting design. So Daiwa, of course, has been doing this zero adjusting. And some people are like, yeah, all right, whatever. You know, like you're not supposed to adjust it. Uh, it's ready when it comes out of the box. Leave the tension knob alone. Me, I always mess with the tension knob, especially when I'm throwing lighter lures. I might go over that one day. I I don't know, maybe, maybe. 
Maybe not. But that's the ultimate casting zero adjust. Daiwa has perfected the main brake mag force to eliminate the hassle of using a sub brake in the ultimate cash guide unique mechanism to WS combine the effects of winding and casting into one. Doki out of choki. Casting break. Now everything's the ultimate. Ultimate casting spool. You can always pause if you want to read up on it. You can. Or you, you know what? I'm going to leave the link. The link to, to the site. And you guys can look at it as well. Big finesse concept. So from the looks of it, it looked like a uh, the SSR because it has the same style dial for the mag force zero shaft the spool is only supported by the bottom bracket the shaftless design eliminates yada 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 ultimate tournament drag yeah that's just the product details So this is the first one, the 30 millimeter spool SS Mag Force. And they saying that the, the 30 is better than 28. I don't know. Now I do like my uh, my Steve CT SVTW a lot more than I do the SSR. That's just me personally, and. Uh, but I like my Silver Creek after I modified it a lot more than I do all of my other reels for the most part. When it comes to, to Daiwa's side, anyway. So this one's a, a bait for nice. So I wonder if they're gonna they're not classifying this one as skipping and pitching. So there's only six bearings with the one rolling bearing and it's showing you where they are at. Gear shaft, both ends of the spool. So I'm wondering if I could put one or two on the worm shaft. Those are different compatible knobs, spool. There's currently no other compatible spools with this. Now that's the comparison. Wine. All of them with TWS, drag, clicker. Oh no, that's the ultimate tournament drag. Brakes. Mag fours, air brake. Mag force, well, my bad. Spool size or diameter, the new 25 Alphas BF is a 30 versus the other two being 28s. Spool material, all of the same. Self restraint or the weight of each one. The SS Air, how do they say that this one is? What are they comparing that to when they said 14% and 17% lighter when it's the heaviest of the three? The knobs, all same number of bearings. 
the SS Air is eight one. So the SS Air did have bearings or a bearing on one of the worm shafts on one of the one sides and I added the other one. And I added all of the bearings on these or on the 20 Alpha Z and I put the click and drag in it. Drag, pull, click. The 25 will have it. The 2020 didn't have it. The SS Air has it. Compatible spools, none, none, none. Even though it says no spools are compatible for the 20 Alpha Z, there are a bunch of aftermarket ones that are. Salt water compatible, all three are. Salt water ready. Accessories, none. Here's a little video. So basically, I'm just showing what I just went over and basically what you guys can read if you want to. And there it is. Release date. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you see that, right? 1224 on the release date. Sheesh. Kind of hype. I thought it was going to be. It might be 24 for Japan. We might not even see it in the U.S. This is everything we went over. Oh, the retail price. Oh, my goodness. 51. That's suggested retail. We're not gonna bug out off of that just yet. That price might change. There it is, party people. If you got any questions, I don't have any answers right now because I don't have the real. I got a question for you. Anybody who's looking, are you going to get this real? Me? Yes. No questions asked. I thought they were going to take a break. I thought I was going to be able to relax and not get any reels to at least 2000 and uh, maybe a year off, but nope, everybody's still going hard at it. So we got a 25 Alphas BFTW.